In this video, I'm going to show you how to make money with ClickBank, Bing Ads and affiliate marketing. And I've got three case studies for you. I'm going to show you how to make profitable campaigns from scratch, how to make money with direct linking and also how to make money with landing pages. If you're tired of the fake guru stuff, gravity, product, blog, money, if you're sick of hearing the same cliches over and over again, the money's in the list. My list with you on it. If you want to see real money making campaigns that you can copy and start making money today, keep watching. Hi, I'm Dave and I've been affiliate marketing since 2007 and I want to share my experience with you. If this is your first time visiting, please click subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you get notified whenever I load up new money videos. Please also smash the like button until it turns blue. This really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Let's get these case studies started. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by getting some traffic and we're going to filter that traffic through to our blog and we're going to set the blog up in such a way that when uh, people arrive what they're going to want to do is click through straight away to the clickbank product that we are promoting and by doing this we're going to maximize the chances we have of making some commissions so very briefly, I'm going to walk you through the high level process of what we're going to do. And then I'm going to show you an actual case study of this in practice of this working. OK, so let's uh, first head over here. The first thing that you're going to need to do is head to clickbank.com and at clickbank.com you're going to click over here on this big blue sign up button and clicking on that sign up button will allow you to sign up for a new Clickbank account. Fill out all your details there and then from there you're going to be able to search through the Clickbank marketplace and find a product to promote. Now later in the video I'm going to show you how to get a product out of the Clickbank marketplace so you can promote it and how to choose a good product. But for right now let's uh, let's just have a quick look at the marketplace. So if we click on the um, magnifying glass here that's going to give us a list of all the products on the Clickbank marketplace with some statistics next to them. Okay, so for example, you can see here uh, we've got the title of the product, which is uh, research and some information about the product. And that information is generally targeted towards people like us, affiliates, and some extra information if they have it, for example, the affiliate page. And then we've got some stats down here and some stats, for example, like um, the initial conversion amount, how much we are going to get on average for one, uh, one conversion. And it's about $113, which is a, a nice chunk of change when you're, uh, when you're getting started in affiliate marketing. Okay, so uh, we've got a $113 uh, conversion and then we've got a uh, recurring or rebill charge of about $8. Okay, so that might be uh, once a month you get an extra $8 from them. And at the moment you can see there's a gravity score of 569. Now that gravity score means that in the last 30 days, 569 affiliates have made at least one sale. So we can see that this is a pretty popular product. All right, and if we keep going down, we can see that uh, these products, uh, what have we got here? Diabetes Freedom, Steel Bite Pro, Numerologist.com, Biotox Gold. So they're all uh, they're all pretty nice. Uh, gravity wise, two hundred and forty-five gravity. Um, 
what else? Uh, Biotox Gold, 187 gravity, and an average conversion value of $132. Thank you very much. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to register for your ClickBank account. Head over to clickbank.com and do that right now. And then come back to this video and we will continue. And we're going to continue by talking about the next step in the process. So let me just go back to my first slide. So we've talked about ClickBank. Okay, so we're going to uh, get our product to promote from ClickBank. And the middle part of the process is our blog. Now, uh, if you already have hosting, that's great. If you don't, uh, you can get hosting for $3.95 a month by going to bluehost.com. And uh, it, with your hosting with bluehost.com, they will include your first domain free. If you do have hosting already, there's one thing that we're going to do a little bit differently. We're not going to use your standard blog that you already have on your hosting service. What we're going to do is set up a separate blog. And to do that, we are going to buy a new domain name. Now you could order that through the host that you're with, or you can go across to a service like, uh, where are we, Namecheap and you can buy a new domain for your product there. But don't buy it right now. So I'm going to show you in my example that we walk through what the specific domain name that you need to buy is. And I'm going to show you the type of domain that you need to buy, which is quite cheap, and also uh, the reason I'm buying that particular domain. Okay, so uh, we have talked about uh, our ClickBank account and getting that ClickBank account so we can find products to promote. And our blog, if you don't have hosting already, head over to uh, someone like bluehost.com to get your hosting. And if you do have hosting already, be prepared to buy a new domain for your promotions once you've found the products you want to promote. And you'll know how to do those things after you watch the rest of the video and you see my case study. So finally, what we need to talk about is traffic. Doesn't matter how good our blog is, doesn't matter how good our um, ClickBank product is, um, we are not going to make any sales unless we can generate buying traffic to send to that blog and then to send to that offer. So we need to make sure we've got some traffic. And to do that, what we're going to do is use Microsoft Ads or Bing Ads. And don't worry, this is not going to cost you a fortune. And we are going to do the promotion in such a way that you will make the most amount of money you can from your ad spend. We are going to focus on really warm to hot traffic. So when you do send traffic through, yes, you'll be paying for it, but it's the traffic that is most likely to convert to a sale. Okay, so we want to go over to ads.microsoft.com and then you want to click on this uh, big green button up here that says sign up now and sign up for a Microsoft Ads slash Bing Ads account. And once you've done that, we now know where we're going to get our product to promote, which is ClickBank. We know how we're going to uh, get our blog. If we don't already have hosting, we're going to go to somewhere like Bluehost. If we've already got that, we're going to be ready after we've watched the rest of this video to buy a new domain name for cheap. And finally, uh, we know where our traffic is going to come from. That's Microsoft Ads. So from now, get ready, sit back, relax, and be prepared to take a few notes as you watch the rest of the video where I run through the process of how to actually get all this to hang together. And I show you everything behind the scenes and you see my results. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do a little bit of uh, promotion of a new product on ClickBank and I'm going to 
see if we can get some results. Okay, so uh, let's head over to the marketplace. And we're going to look at the products in popularity order. And uh, if we have a look down, the one that I'm thinking of promoting is one, two, three, four, fifth position in popularity order. And that's Biotox Gold. All right. And one of the reasons that I'm thinking of promoting this particular product is that if we go to promote, they've got a let's move this down so you can see they've got a retarget URL. Now, what they mean by retarget is this is a URL for visitors who we're retargeting, who have visited before. And so a retarget URL is kind of a quick order URL. So someone that's seen the offer before just wants to get through and buy. Um, we're going to give them a quick URL to go to. And so uh, we have one here. So let's uh, let's try doing our promotions with this uh, retarget URL. OK, now. Um, I had a look at the uh, the retarget page and it looks quite nice. There's a, just a header image of the product about the author and straight away we've got the uh, uh, buy buttons. OK, so that's really good. I like to see that the visitor can just come through, click buy and be over and done with. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a landing page and that landing page will um, be very simple and it's going to be getting traffic from Bing ads and uh, the traffic that comes through they obviously will know about the product so they're going to click on our order button and be taken through our hop link to this page okay so uh, here's a simple page that I set up earlier using uh, Thrive Architect now I put this on a blog that uh, I bought recently called biotoxgold.pro and uh, I thought that domain sounds pretty good. Um, it's uh, basically the name of the product Biotox Gold and the dot pro kind of in intimates that it's kind of the top level version of the product or something like that. So um, we shouldn't uh, have any issues with the domain. So what we do need to do is we need to head over to WordPress and we need to go to settings and reading and we need to set the page that I've just created as the home page. So now if I go straight to the home page uh, that's what we see. OK, so I've got my hop link behind this image here and behind the add to cart button. So if we click on the add to cart button just to test it. It goes through like that. And if we go down and click buy now. And they're right at the bottom, but dum but dum but dum we will see my affiliate ID. OK, so all is good. Whoa. And we were going to leave the page. So we've got a don't leave now. You can get it for cheaper option. OK, um, so we're going to go over to Bing ads and we're going to set up our ad now. OK, so let's click over. All right, we're going to create a campaign. And we're going to say we want visits to my website. We want search ads. Click next. And we're going to give it a name. Let's just call it uh, Bio Gold. Something nice and short and simple. We're going to start it off $50 a day. We're going to target just the United States. Like that. OK, we're going to leave the top one checked only. And that's going to mean that the only traffic we get are people from the United States. And save and go to next step. All right, add name, just the same. Bio Gold. All right. So what we're going to do here is we are going to enter exact match Biotox Gold. 
So we're putting it in square brackets. So only people that enter the term Biotox Gold or Biotox Space Gold will see our ad. Okay. And then, yeah, it says you haven't entered any keywords, but I have. So we'll just tab out of there. And so we'll save and go to the next step. All right, let's create our ad. Okay, so the landing page, let's copy that out. Okay, and we'll paste it in here. Okay, get rid of that. All right, so we got Biotox Gold special offer today. Now, looks nice, nice and simple. Okay, and we'll say, don't buy Biotox Gold unless you've seen this massive discount. Oops. Okay, but we do want to qualify the people that are visiting Okay, so don't buy Biotox Gold unless you've seen this massive discount. Get Biotox. Get Biotox Gold today. Get started with. And get free Ooh. delivery. How's that look? Don't buy Biotox Gold unless you've seen this massive discount. Get started with Biotox Gold today and get free delivery with your order. Hmm. Safe. Save. Manual bid strategy. Let's start this at, we'll just say $5. See what we get. Okay, it's estimating 14 clicks a month. Probably going to get more than that, I would think. And we're going to add distribution, Bing AOL, and Yahoo Search owned and operated only. All right, and there we have it. It's now uh, green, so it's eligible. Um, I imagine that it's going to be a few hours before it gets approved. Once it gets approved, hopefully we will see some sales coming through. Okay, good morning, guys. I've got another early morning update for you. Okay, so our Biotox Gold campaign has been running for some time. And uh, here we have it here. Um, we're going to have a look at the spend so far and uh, the results we've got so far. So let's first uh, just refresh our Bing screen and make sure we've got the latest information. And it's going to come up at some point. OK, here we go. And all right, so I updated the budget to $100 a day because I was a bit worried that we we're going to run out of budget. Um, so uh, I've updated that to $100 a day. Uh, we've got uh, four clicks so far, impressions 28. So four out of 28, that's a click through rate of 14.29%. Average cost per click is $5.71. And uh, the spend so far is $22.83 with an average position of 2.6. So the most important metric there is that I've spent $22.83. Okay, so let's head over to ClickBank and uh, see what's happening there. Okay, 
let's refresh the screen all right uh, and we have uh, a balance of ninety seven dollars and seventy seven cents so let's uh, let's check that one out and that is a sale of Biotox Gold, N Pounder 95, uh, from someone in Tennessee. And uh, yeah, that's $97.77. So that's very nice. So we have more than tripled our money so far. Okay, guys, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a campaign that I've had up and running for a few days now. Now, this is a campaign that uh, I was actually planning to use for a longer term case study. I've been talking to a few of you and um, you've expressed interest in me doing a campaign where there's maybe a week's worth of information so we can actually see a campaign that uh, runs for a lot longer. Unfortunately, I kind of dropped the ball with this campaign and uh, because I dropped the ball, uh, I lost the position I was in uh, and uh, things have gone a bit haywire with that. But I thought, you know, it's really important. There's a few good learning points about this campaign that I want to run through with you. Um, so uh, I'm going to be showing you a campaign that's already been running, has made some money, and I'm going to show you the ins and outs of how I set up that campaign and why I selected the product that I did. All right, but first, let's just uh, head over to my PowerPoint slides. I'm just going to show you basic overview of uh, how we're going to structure this campaign. So basically, uh, we have our Bing ads, which come up in our search results. And uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be brand bidding in this case. And uh, the ad is going to come up in the search results uh, and then when the person clicks on the ad they are going to be taken straight through the um, straight through the link and sent to direct to the sales page there's no landing page there's nothing in between okay the only thing that is um, that is added to this process is uh, click magic Click Magic is going to be monitoring the whole process and tracking the whole process. And you'll understand why I used Click Magic a little bit later as we go through everything. Um, but uh, depending on how you structure your campaign, you may not need Click Magic at all. So you may be able to just go and direct links straight through to uh, the sales page. Okay, so uh, let's kick off by talking about the product okay so i'm in my click uh clickbank test account right now um and you'll see there are uh some results over the last few days um some of the results you don't have to worry about because they're from a different campaign uh that i've been testing and that was going quite well and it was actually a campaign that i set up and forgot about and then suddenly saw these results coming through and went oh my goodness i set up a campaign in a different account so uh that's a case study for another day um but uh, some of these results do relate to the product in question today so let's have a look at that product let's go to the marketplace so this is not a popular product so at the moment so i'm going to just uh, search on a keyword rather than trying to put it in rank order so uh there we go geforce all right so this product is called geforce teeth and um, this is a product that uh, I started promoting when the gravity was, I think it was just under one. So it was like 0.9 or 0.89 or something like that. So it was really low. So why did I find this product? Okay, so um, the way I found the product was I looked in health offers. I looked at the health offers category and I uh, searched on date added to the marketplace and I looked in the last month. And I was just looking around for something interesting to promote that again, I was gonna use for a long-term case study. And uh, I found this GeForce Teeth. And uh, this um, product, again, the gravity was really low, but the payout 
as you can see, it was about $133. And so I had a look around the sales page and I thought, well, the sales page looks pretty good. And let's just click through it. Let's create a hop link and we'll go to the uh, VSL. We'll go to the default VSL. All right, move that over so we can copy it. Okay, and then let's uh, paste and go here. So it looks pretty good. Um, it's the, the type of thing that people are going to, if they've got a teeth problem or a gum problem, they're going to look at this and go, oh, this looks kind of scary. Oh, yes, I know what blood's like in the sink. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And they'll watch it. So I thought, you know what? I don't know who created the product. I don't know if it's going to be successful, but it looks really well put together. So I'm going to give it a go. All right. So let's close that. And uh, so I decided, yep, I'm going to promote it. And I'm going to promote this through a direct linking campaign. So the first thing that I did is I went over to uh, Click Magic and I set up a tracking link. And the reason I set up a tracking link is because I wanted to make sure I knew where the sales were coming from. And um, not ordinarily, if I'm doing a direct linking campaign, I wouldn't use Click Magic. But the product name was a little bit uh, vague. So, for example, um, if you were promoting something like Leptitox and you were just targeting the brand name Leptitox and uh, I was going to do a direct linking campaign, I wouldn't use Click Magic because Leptitox is a very clear name. But G Force Teeth. G Force Gums, G Dash Force Teeth, G Dash Force Gums, G Dash Force Dental. Um, I thought well, there's a number of keywords that people could be typing in to find this product. So um, because I was going to be using a, a number of keywords uh, to target to um, to promote this product, I thought I would need to use Click Magic for tracking so that I could actually see where the sales were coming from. Okay, so um, what I did is, uh, let's have a look. I set up a tracking link, um, and uh, as you can see, in the primary URL field, let's just move myself out of the way. Primary URL field, I've set up um, my hop link, and uh, I think going to CB page one, that might be the text uh, page, um, or might be a secondary uh, VSL. I think it's a secondary VSL actually. And um, okay, so I've got my TID, which is the click ID. And that's um, what uh, Click Magic is going to use as the unique number to identify uh, where the click came from, what keyword it was, and marry it up when the sale happens. Okay, so let's close that. Let's move that back here. Okay, so as you can see, I've got one sale. So let's click on that uh, and let's move me out of the way again. All right, so um, the sub ID we had was GForce Teeth um, and I made a sale of $44.60. So um, that means that I guess they bought uh, one bottle of GForce Teeth. Okay, so um, and the, as for the date, you can see that came through on the uh, 25th of October. Okay, so we've got a sale, which is good, um, but we've got uh, a total of 18 clicks, all right? They're not unique clicks, those are the total clicks, okay? So 18 clicks is a lot for one sale, you might be saying, but this is the really interesting thing about uh, this campaign. Okay, so if we have a look in uh, Microsoft Ads, okay, you will see the very interesting thing. I've got, it registers 17 clicks, so one of those uh, total clicks might be me doing a test. Um, 28 impressions of that 17 clicks, that's a nice 60% click-through rate, um, but the really cool thing about this is the average cost per click. It's only 83 cents. And so you remember, I've made a sale of $44 and I've only spent $14 in total. So 
$14 um, is maybe, what have I made? Maybe close to 200% ROI. Um, my brain's not very switched on this morning. Um, so perhaps about 200% ROI. And uh, yeah, the, the, the cost per click is very cheap. Now the reason the cost per click is really cheap is because this is a new product. And um, because it's a new product, no one else is bidding on it. So if uh, you put up an ad, you're not gonna pay very much for the number one spot, all right? So of course, things will change over time as more and more people find out about the product and more people start bidding on it. But if you can find these gems of products, these new products that look promising on the ClickBank Marketplace, and that could be just by looking at the ClickBank Marketplace or by signing up to vendors' email lists and uh, hearing from them about an upcoming launch. If you can do that and you can get ads running, then you can make a lot of money when it comes to launch time or when the product's quite new, but people are starting to hear about it and the gravity is just starting to climb. Now you remember um, the sale that I made that came through on the 25th of October. Um, and at that point, that was about a day after I'd started the campaign. At that point, the product only had a gravity of one or just shy of one. And so um, the product now has a gravity. Let's go back product now has a gravity of 5.87 so uh and today is the 29th of october so uh in four days that um that product has a lot more affiliates promoting it now those affiliates could be facebook affiliates those affiliates could be native ads affiliates they could be list affiliates they could be any kind of affiliate but what they're doing is they're drumming up the interest in this product for you and so more people are going to be searching on google searching on bing oh what is this product what's geforce teeth um is geforce teeth good where do i buy geforce teeth that kind of thing and so you are in a perfect position right now to capture that traffic and make some money so uh, just for sake of completeness let me go back to the dashboard and let's click on uh, the $44.60 okay so this says October 24 but um, Clickbank time is the US time I'm in Japan so for me it's the 25th for them it's the 24th okay so um, Let's click on this green bar, $44.60, and we will see if I move myself out of the way. This is for GeForce Dental. Uh, someone in Illinois bought it. Okay, so uh, that's it. So it's important now that what you do is you think about products that you can promote that are kind of up and coming products on the marketplace that might not be popular now, but might be in the future. And also find successful vendors on ClickBank, you know, the ones that have health products at number one, two, three, that kind of thing, and sign up to their email list, find out when the next launch is happening, and uh, get in front of people before launch day so that you can start making a lot more affiliate cash. So just to recap, I'm gonna show you in this video how you can take $30 and turn it into $180 with ClickBank. And you can do this whether you are a pro level affiliate marketer or an absolute beginner. And I'm going to run you through the whole process that I've used to set up campaigns like this. And I'm actually going to show you a working campaign and show you everything behind the scenes. Okay, so the first thing that we want to check is uh, the ClickBank results. So this is my test ClickBank account. This is the ClickBank account that I have that I use to test out offers before um, I start to scale up and then I move them across to different accounts. So um, you can see here that on October 25 and October 26, I made a total of about 188 ish dollars, just over $188. The campaign has now stopped running, um, which is why you're not seeing any results there. But uh, whilst it was running, it made a total of just over $188. All right, so I'm gonna run you through how I picked the product. 
I'm going to explain how I set up the campaign and uh, then we're going to uh, have a look at the results uh, behind the scenes. Okay, so uh, first let's head over to the marketplace. All right, and usually when I'm promoting ClickBank products, I focus on health and fitness offers because in my experience, I've found that those offers tend to convert the best all year round. Now, there are three basic uh, niches that you want to focus on if you really want to make money quickly. And those niches are uh, wealth, health, or relationships. And on ClickBank, I tend to avoid the wealth niche, mainly because people in the wealth niche probably already have a ClickBank account. And those type of people tend to see something that they're interested in and then go, hang on, maybe I can buy this through my own affiliate link. So you spend some money to get people interested in a product and then they're going to use their own affiliate link to get the commission for themselves. Um, so I tend to avoid the wealth uh, niche on ClickBank. So one of the products that I've had success with promoting in the past with pay-per-click advertising and also with native ads, let's just put this in rank order, is Diabetes Freedom. But recently what I've found is that it's not, uh, it's not converting as much as it was before. And I think that's just a result of it's been around for a long time. So more people have seen the offer, more people kind of uh, get that banner blindness about the the offer. So um, I received a, an email from ClickBank the other day that told me about a different diabetes offer that has recently listed on the ClickBank marketplace. And that offer is a deep sleep diabetes remedy. So uh, let's see if we can find that down here. Uh, Halky diabetes remedy keto bread. Ah, here we are. Deep sleep diabetes remedy. So you can see the average payout is uh, $59.24. And it's got a gravity already of about 51. Um, so last 30 days at least 51 affiliates have made at least one sale of deep sleep diabetes remedy um, and you'll notice that my stats are listed here as well so you can see uh, i had a total of 36 hops uh, some of those might be my hops so the actual legitimate visitors might be slightly lower than that um, so 36 hops, uh, average dollar per hop, $1.18, refunds, none, chargebacks, none. Initial sales, $42.65. That's my commission. Um, and upsells, $132.35. So how did I do this? Well, that's what we're going to talk about now. So uh, one of the main things to understand when you want to promote a ClickBank product and you want to make money quickly is you need to focus on the traffic that's going to convert most easily. And the traffic that's going to convert most easily is traffic that already knows about the product. If you try and uh, convert traffic that maybe they're looking for a weight loss offer, but they don't know anything about the product, it's going to be much harder simply because your job becomes more than just saying hey customer there's the product as the affiliate it becomes more like dear customer please look at this product and let me convince you why it's going to help you so um what i did is i set up a campaign that's focused just on getting the traffic that knows about the offer already and filtering that traffic to the sales page. I didn't want to be the kind of affiliate who's standing in between the customer and the offer and saying, hey, look at all this useful information about the product. You wanna read this? And then there's some buttons down here that you can click to take you to the offer. Because the more information that I give to the customer, the more the customer might feel, you know, I'm not sure. Um, this sounds interesting, but 
maybe another product that I was thinking about last week might be better than this. The more information the affiliate gives to the customer, the more potential there is for the customer to have some doubts because maybe you might contradict an idea that the customer already has in their mind. Of course, there's also the situation where the affiliate can convince the customer. However, in a situation where we really want to convert quickly, um, we just want to take the traffic that's convinced the offer is going to help them, is just looking for the offer. We want to capture those people and say, hey, the offer's just over here, but if you wouldn't mind, just go through my affiliate link to get there. Okay, so uh, to do that, what I did is I set up a direct linking campaign on uh, Bing Ads, and I'm going to show that to you now. So here we are in my Bing Ads account. So let's first go to, this is the ad, but let's first go to the uh, campaign page and we'll look at the overall details of the campaign. So as I mentioned, the campaign is stopped now. It's not running at the moment, but let's just uh, look at all the details of the campaign and look at how it was set up. Okay, so campaign name, Deep Sleep Diabetes Remedy. My budget is only $20 a day. Um, and the bid strategy type is manual. And uh, we got 13 clicks, 39 impressions. Okay, so um, I showed you that I got hops of uh, 36, I think it was. So those 36 hops, um, some of them will be me just testing and some of them may be uh, the visitors that came through uh, the ad may be re-clicking somehow and it's registering as a hop. Okay, so uh, anyway, 13 clicks out of 39 impressions. So we've got a, a pretty good click through rate of 33%. And uh, the average CPC is $2.50. So total spend was $32.44. So we spent $32.44 and we made $188. So that's an ROI of whatever I'm putting on the screen right now. <laughs> because it's too early in the morning for me to do uh, math. All right, so that's uh, that's the basic overview uh, of the campaign. That's a high level information about the campaign. So if we uh, go down a little bit deeper, let's first look at uh, the keywords. Okay, here I am on the uh, keywords tab. And um, as you can see, I'm targeting the keyword deep sleep diabetes remedy. So I'm targeting the product name. And that's because I only want to get traffic from Bing or Yahoo or AOL from people that know the exact product name. Because if someone's searching on the exact product name, the likelihood is they're looking to buy the product. So um, that's the keyword I'm targeting, deep sleep diabetes remedy. And you can see here, whoops, I've accidentally selected that. You can see here, I am, uh, I'm targeting exact match. So exact match means if they type in um, review of deep sleep diabetes remedy, I'm not gonna show my ad for that. I'm only showing it if they're entering the exact name of the product. And when you set up your Bing ads campaign to set it to exact match, you just need to put square brackets around your keyword phrase. Okay, so uh, that's the only keyword I'm targeting. Um, just to confirm, our bid was $5, our max uh, CPC was $5, uh, and we're doing manual bidding. Uh, and uh, 13, 13 clicks came through out of 39 impressions. That's a nice click-through rate of 33%. Average cost per click was $2.50, total spend $32.44, and average position $1.85. So um, let's, uh, let's go over to the uh, ads tab and we'll have a look at the actual ad and I'll have a look and we'll have a look at how I set this campaign up. Okay. All right, so here's the ad. Um, 
let's click edit and we'll go in and we'll actually look at how this was set up because for the way I'm linking to the uh, the offer it's important for you to understand all right so let's click edit all right so in the final URL field which is the URL that's going to be displayed in the ad I'm uh, I'm putting the final destination the destination of the sales page deep sleep diabetes remedy dot com and at this point you might be thinking well hang on I want them to go through my affiliate link so why am I putting the sales page URL up here and that would be a very good question but you don't need to worry the final URL is only used to send traffic through if you don't have a tracking URL which we're going to set up later so you don't need to worry when you have a tracking URL set up, which we're going to do later, um, the final URL is only used for display purposes and to validate that the tracking URL resolves to that final URL. Okay, so uh, title part number one, uh, we just got the product name, Deep Sleep Diabetes Remedy, and title two, Special Offer Ends Today. Uh, I kept it simple. I didn't put anything in title three uh, in the ad text. Don't buy deep sleep diabetes remedy unless you've seen this massive discount. Uh, no waiting. Instant access. Get started with deep sleep diabetes remedy today. Now, recently I've been promoting a lot of supplements on ClickBank. And um, one of the things going back to promoting an electronic product like Deep Sleep Diabetes Remedy that's nice is that in the ad you can say get instant access, which you can't do with a supplement because we have to ship it to you. Best you can do is say free shipping. Okay, so now the really important thing is our hop link. And what we do is in add URL options, we open that up, and we put our hop link into the tracking template. And what that does is it tells Bing or Microsoft Ads that if someone clicks on our ad, we want them to go to the final URL that's displayed in the ad, but we want to send them to that through this link here. Okay. And uh, once you've put your hop link in there, we can make sure that it's all going to work simply by testing. Okay, so we click the test button, test in progress, landing page found, we're all good. Okay, so that's how I set up the ad. Okay, and uh, if we go back to our ClickBank dashboard, okay and let's just confirm the details of the sales so uh, the sales came through on October 25 and 26 so let's click on the first one $97.59 and you can see ignore the rebuild there uh, that's for a different promotion that I did over a year ago um, so we've got DSDIA is the vendor that's deep sleep diabetes remedy Okay, on the first day, we got uh, $17.88 front-end sales. So I guess they bought the discount. That looks like the discount price. So they probably tried to leave the page. It came up, gave them the discount, and they went, oh, okay, I'll buy the discounted product. They then went on to buy a $66 upsell. Okay, and let's pop back. And we'll go to the 26 click on that one and this person okay this person didn't uh, didn't get the discount price they bought the regular price so I got a commission of $24.77 and they also got the upsell for $66 now as I'm talking about this I just realized that what I was saying to you was slightly incorrect before so I told you that the total uh, from this particular promotion on the 25th was $97.57. And that's not actually accurate. The, um, the total is $97.57 minus $13.52. And that's because, as I say, that's a promotion I did over a year ago. That's just a rebuild for that. So um, actually on both days, 
the figure is around $90. So um, the total made was $180. So it's $32.44 invested to make a return of $180. Okay, so you want to see more of these case studies where I make money with ClickBank before your very eyes? I've got five more of them for you. These are five real life affiliate marketing case studies built from scratch with ClickBank that actually make money. You can watch me build the campaigns and see the results coming through. I'll show you everything behind the scenes. Check out this video here. You can copy everything you see in this video and start making money today. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching.